Algebra 1 Lesson 88, we are looking at multiplying and dividing rational expressions in this lesson. And so we have talked about rational expressions before. These are my fractions that have um, variables in both the numerator and denominator. And in order to multiply and divide these rational numbers, since they're fractions, we need to use our normal fraction rules in order to multiply and divide. So um, for instance, instance, if we have AB over CD, um, A over B times C over D, we would multiply just like normal, so we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Whereas if we have division between them, we keep the first fraction and we multiply by the reciprocal of the second fraction and then multiply like normal. So when we have our rational expressions, we're going to do the same. And we're going to go ahead, and if there's multiplication between them, we're going to go ahead and multiply across. So we have 42x to the sixth, y to the third. Remember, if we're multiplying things with exponents, we add those exponents for the same base. And we have 63x to the fourth, y to the fifth. Now, unfortunately, we cannot leave it like this because we have common variables and numbers in numerator and denominator. So starting with the 42 and 63, those each have a common factor of 21. So we can reduce it to 2 over 3. The x's, well, we have 6 in the numerator, 4 in the denominator. We can subtract those exponents and get x squared. And y to the third over y to the fifth, we end up with two y's left in the denominator. And so this is our simplest form, but there's one last piece, and that is telling any excluded values. So any values that would make the denominator 0, and in this case, we would exclude y being 0. So we would say y cannot be 0, or else we would get an undefined expression. So let's just try this a couple of times here. Um, I'll just do the top left one here. And we end up multiplying across and we get 10x to the seventh, y to the fourth, over 48x to the fifth, y to the ninth. We can simplify the fractions and get five over, 25, five over 24. The x's can simplify to x squared in the numerator. The y's can simplify to y to the fifth in the denominator. So y in this case cannot be zero. You can do the same for the other fractions as well on your own. Okay, now if we are multiplying these rational expressions with a polynomial, we could multiply them out, but in the end we're going to need to factor. We're going to need to do some factoring. So in essence, what this one is saying is that, okay, if I have this, um, this trinomial, it's really multiplied to that trinomial over 1. So it's being multiplied to the numerator. So we really have 9 times x squared minus 2x minus 15 over 3x minus 15. So yes, I could go ahead and multiply out that 9, but it's actually not going to help me here because I will end up needing to factor anyway. So first, I have that greatest common factor on the outside, and now I'm going to factor the trinomial. So that, okay, something that multiplies to negative 15 but adds to give me negative 2. And it looks like those numbers would be um, x minus 5 and x plus 3. And we have that 9 on the outside. And then I'm also going to factor the denominator to say we have actually 3 times x minus 5. What you end up noticing is that we now have a factor that I can simplify. Remember that I cannot simplify things that are not factors, meaning I cannot simplify this x and the 3x and this x and the negative 2x. Those are not factors. Right now they are connected to other things with subtraction, so we cannot simplify them. But now that x minus 5 and x minus 5 are, are connected to things by multiplication, I can simplify them. I can also simplify the 3 and the 9 since those are factors. And I end up with an answer of 3 times x plus 3. So in this case, we would end up wanting to factor as much as possible first and then simplify. So that's what I'm going to do on this next one as well. I'm going to say this is actually 16 times, well, let's see, we need something that multiplies to negative 24, adds to negative 5, and that's going to be x minus 8 and x plus 3. 
And in the denominator, we can factor out a 4 and get x minus 8 times 4. So the x minus 8s simplify, the 4 and the 16 simplify, so that my answer is 4 times x plus 3. And I'm actually okay leaving, leaving it like that in factored form. That is just fine, unless it asks you to expand at the end. So you do have um, a couple options here when we are multiplying things that contain polynomials. We could multiply out first, that will work, or we can factor first, okay? So you have those two options. I end up liking uh, factoring first, but that is just me, okay? It will work either way. So in this case though, I can factor the first um, fraction and say I can factor out a 2mn so I have left a 4m plus 1, okay, over this 2m times 15 over, I can factor out a 6n to have 4m plus 1. And I end up seeing that since these are fractions and we're multiplying, since we're across the fraction bar, this 4m plus 1 can simplify, okay? I'll write it out again, we could continue simplifying, but I will write it out. So we have 2mn times 15, okay, over 2m times 6n, and yes, we could simplify that to 30mn over 12mn, and you end up seeing that the n's can simplify, the m's can simplify. You can simplify this 30 over 12 in order to be 15 over 6, and then to over 2, okay? So it simplifies to something extremely simple, 5 over 2. I factored first, but you could have multiplied it all out first, saying that this 15 is going to multiply to both the 8m n squared and the 2mn, and this 2m multiplies both the 24mn and the 6m, and then you could have factored and simplified, okay? So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll show this way, though, with multiplication first. And I'm going to multiply this 11 to both of those other parts, and we get 33m squared n plus 22mn over this 2m is going to go to everything inside, so we have 48m squared n plus 32mn. And as it is right now, we can't simplify anything because nothing is a factor that is the same, but I can factor things. And so in the top, I can factor out an 11mn so that we have left a 3m plus 2 over, well, I can factor out a, let's see, I can factor out a 16 here, 16 and an mn so that I can say this is 3m plus 2. And the 3m plus 2 can simplify, okay, those are same factors now. The n's can simplify, the m's can simplify, and I'm lef left with 11 over 16, okay? So that's if you were to multiply first and then factor, okay? Regardless, you need to do both of them, just depends on what order you want to do them first. All right, now when we are dividing these rational expressions, not much changes other than the fact that we are going to take the first one, keep that the same, so 5st to the fourth over 4s squared t, but we are going to now multiply by the reciprocal of 2s to the third t squared over 15s squared t. And we're gonna multiply and simplify just like we normally would. Okay, that's the only thing that changes but everything else stays the same, okay? Now, if we have things that are more like polynomials, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have 9r squared. Oh, sorry about that. Let me just move this for a second. We have 9r squared minus 12r. Let me just erase this so you can see a bit better. All right, so we're gonna keep the same fraction for the first part. <laughs> Sometimes it likes to jump and um, 
move from where it doesn't need to be. Give me just a second. I'll come to you. All right, so we keep the same one right here. So 9r squared minus 12r over 27. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. Now this is currently over 1, so I'm going to say 1 over 3r minus 4. And we can start by um, actually factoring this numerator. So we can take out a 3r and saying this is 3r minus 4 over 27 times 3r minus 4. Okay, I just multiplied out a little bit, but factored first. So the 3r minus 4s cancel out, and the 3 and the 27 can simplify to just r over 9. Okay, so nothing much changes when we go to division here with these rational expressions. So I'm just going to show you a few more that you can try on your own here. Remember, copy dot flip, keep the first um, one the same, and then multiply and use the reciprocal. Okay. So even when they go and put it into word problems, the same rules apply. So let's say a business makes a profit of this expression dollars for each item sold. If x squared plus 5x plus 4 items are sold, what's the profit? Which means that we need to multiply these together, which truly just means that we need to multiply the two fractions, factor, and simplify as much as possible. Okay, And here's one last one that you can try. All right, well, I hope this helps for your homework and for studying.